my name is inside of me. I don't love more. The man I love lives in me. I get much more. The one I need is inside of me. Lives in me. Dwells in me. I get so much more of him. It's 
great things to the thirty tribes of Israel scattered in the four corners of the earth, and to the Gentiles called by the name of Abbe Yehoah. Great is from Abbe Yehoah to you and me, his eternal bride. Hope we are doing greater. <laughs> if yes or no, still let his praise be heard mm, in the camp of the enemy. Okay, somehow, of course, sometimes it breaks down the west of Jericho. Alright, if you are try all and all, not working, therefore go by praise and begin to celebrate the downfall of your enemy. You're going to see the west of Jericho, you know, for the flat. Hallelujah. Alright now, that's my tricks, okay? I have developed powerfully that attitude <laughs> to obey you will be all praise. Alright now, family, we want to dive into this controversial topic. <laughs> but now you know where I'm driving to. I want to dive into it. I want to touch their head or serpent, their python's head. This is the no-go area. Don't touch their first fruit offering. Don't touch their tithe. And don't touch that sowing of seed. Don't dare. But I want to touch the head of python today. Mm -hmm. That is no-go area. But what baffles me, it is that the very law already be accomplished and nailed to the cross by the author of life, Yahushua HaMashiach, and that is the very law these people is keeping. Tithe is nailed to the cross. First fruit offering is nailed to the cross. So you know, it had nothing absolutely to do with money. That is, you know, brings, bringing about humanity or teachings. I won't even include that. But tithe is being nailed. Is being nailed. Not that is being nailed, but or rather is let me let me use a very respectful word because it's not nailed, it's fulfilled right at the cross. I'm gonna prove that. First fruit offering is fulfilled right at the cross. <laughs> and that is the very law these people is keeping. They are ahead of Python. That you did not touch. If not, they're gonna raise courses <laughs> from eternity to eternity onto your head. Upon your head, excuse me. If you did touch this area. But their courses are, is already being heaped upon their own heads. Mm -hmm. Because the word of Abba Yawa is sharper than any double S sword. It's gonna pierce them up and down. All right now, like I always love to say, it's not by you know emotion now. Mm -mm. It's not by feelings at all. Mm? It's not by radiation burning. No. It's not by sensation. But by what? But by the royal loss of Jephthah. You want to do that. First of all, here we are in the heavenly court room of Abba Yehuwah with this powerful message titled for you and me. Christianity is a matter of slavery. Through Jesus, they are AK-47. First fruit offerings. Should I take it again? Christianity is made of slavery through Jesus. They are AK 47 first fruit offering part one is one or two. Mm -hmm. So, what I do one today, all right? So, Shabbat evening, we'll put, we'll, we'll put out the part two. All right, now, scriptures to validate this. This very one, they are they, they're gonna enslave your mind, your soul, every single breath. The ability in you to raise it as human being is already being captured by these wicked spirits. These are giants, like I said. The law already been fulfilled. That is the most precious one for these people to keep. But you're gonna be buying goat for your sin offering. You're gonna be buying buying ram for your sin offering. You're gonna show us where you anyway. This, 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 this is what you're supposed to know as a human if you are worthy of life. Not that, not that they changed the biblical Messiah's name. Okay, they changed his character. They changed his teaching. They changed his day of rest. They changed his feast. You know that it's gonna mix our hearts and our memory. They changed it. They changed his time clock. And they change his calendar, and they change his equator. They say now it is their pope, PPC, and they now also change his color. Now, come on now, you want to see Sida and say Jesus and the biblical Messiah they are the same? Oh, absolute no! 
It is another thing entirely. This is his teaching that changes. He said, think not that I've come to destroy the Lord, not the prophet, but rather to fulfill. Now he said, oh, thing heavy and air packs away. Not even one dot from the Lord shall, but no miss, you know, packs away until you don't see the heavy and the first earth anymore. Revelation 21 said, then I saw, uh, I saw a new heavy and a new earth for the first heavy and the first earth no more. All right. Now the part he already fulfilled. Like I can never, I can't imagine myself. I will just go and buy a ram and looking for a priest and come. I have sinned. No, we don't do that. No, 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 no. That part is done away with. In like manner, first fruit offering. In like manner, tithe. They are all be accomplished right at the cross. So right now, now that we don't still give money, I'm not doing this to you know, to defend you know. You know, as a stubborn block, not for you not to give money. No, give according to the rules and the regulations of the New Testament. That is why it's being called New Covenant, even though it's not yet being established with the people of the book. That is why it's said new. Do you know the difference from new and old? Oh, okay, let me give you one picture. I can't cook on a Shabbat if, if I then light fire on a Shabbat. My head stoned to death or chopped off. That was how serious it was. But when the biblical Messiah has come, what did he do? He served at his apostles. Matthew 12. That was why he said, I'm the, I'm the Adonai of the Shabbat because he rested on the Shabbat. Okay, that was old system. Okay, with hunger, my father passed out that law. Okay, right now I'm going to reformat, to renew, to remake, to, to rebuild the whole thing anew again. I'm going to make it more simple. You can cook on the Shabbat. You can do something good on the Shabbat. Okay, that's it. He said, Matthew 17, 5. Eli, 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 Eli Yahu was there. And Moshe was there. Abayawa said, yeah, yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, him. The one in the center, he said, this is my beloved son. Yeah, yeah, him. So one of yeah, yeah, him. How he wants us you know, to be doing all this. Okay, like new, the way to give now in the New Testament. It's free will offering. Offering no ha we don't even touch offering. Offering is the uh, offering is for eternity. Mm? But there are love offering. And there are also free will offering. And there are normal offering. Normal offering is a mandatory. Free will offering it has to be a thing that comes from your heart. Love offering has to be also a thing that comes from your heart. That is how we give in the New Testament. Alright? So right now, Mark or Luke. Uh, 6 38 what did he say that is how a new giving that's how we give he said give and it shall be given back unto you in the same measure you give it's going to be measured back unto you now you it, that is do it according to your ability measure measure what you have in your house measure what you have in your account and take what you feel like bringing out of it that when you bring it out of it, it's not going to weigh you down. It's not going to make you run into death. Uh, death. It's not going to make you become a beggar. Just take what you can. Make sure it. That you will find in Matthew 25. Matthew 25, you can take it from 40. Way down. It's all about this. Some, he gave five talents. So those one multiply. He now gave them five back. The one now, you know, have ten. He said, in the same way you give, it's going to be mentioned back. As he gave five talents, those were doubled. It becomes ten. Some may also give two talents. It becomes four. And the one that he gave only one, he couldn't mention back to that one. Why? Because that one was a wicked servant. That is going to be the one that has, maybe, okay, now you have ten euros. Ten euros in your hands. Okay, let's say as your reserve. Somebody is dying of starvation. Whereby you can even take one euro to make that person, you know, happy or to put smile in that person's face or to help it die so just one euro and you refuse to bring out that one euro that is going to be wickedness on you i say it's not my business i'm not going to i'm not going to touch that 10 euro i just keep it as a service not for your daily food but the one you keep that is a wicked servant it won't be mentioned back onto you okay so this is how we give in the new commandment no 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 fast fruit offering forget it we're going to explore, uh, explore that right now. And uh, whatever, for, it's, it's done away with. It's been accomplished. 
Because he himself never asks of it. He never talk about it. He never teach it. He never put it as an oblig obligation, let it continue go. Uh, uh, uh. He came to reformat and to renew and to remake and to rebuild the whole matter. The Old Testament law was so difficult because of hunger. All right, and that's what one, that is where the first fruit came from. Let's go back there now. Ah, this woman, you talk too much. Come on now, let us hear the title. Anyway, <laughs> I love this message. Maybe I will still come back to it, but this is part one. So right now, let us begin to do it together, family. Here we are, uh, 1 Timothy chapter 4, 1 and 2. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to sadistic spirit. This is our sadistic spirit, okay? Sadistic spirits and doctrines of devils. You give it your full salary, your paycheck salary, to one bastard, demon called pastor. That is the doctrines of devils. Listen now, to their lying hypocrisy, okay? Speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience sealed, uh, sealed. Yeah, with a hot iron. They are not going to stop until they do their part. And the death is almost here. To, to shatter them. Out of this nonsense. You don't want to keep the law. What is keeping Shabbat? Is it a, a bed? Celebrating a feast of the Bible? Is it a bed? Keeping the royal law calendar? Is that, is that a bed? Using the time clock? Is that a bed? Calling the one name given unto? Is that a bed? But rubbing from people is not a bed. Take it for somebody, whether it's one day or one week or two, I don't just care. As far as it's not what is found in the law, why put it words in our mouth? And what is already been done and where with? And you still want to retain it? Okay, now. Don't worry, it's coming back to your head in seven ways. So we put some more. You are lying, hypocrisy. You know this is already been done. You know you are not under this covenant. You know this covenant wasn't given unto you. You Gentile pork eating pastors, a Christian. You know me, he goat. A Christ, oh yeah, kie no Eh? You, you, you lie? Alright. You know, first must be for one to two said, a hot iron has already been used to seal these people had they are not gonna let go. At least you know. Proverbs 13, 19, I read this uh, verse B. But it is abomination to fools to depart from evil. So this my teaching now is abomination until the way they the way they say if they don't fight me, they're gonna click this like uh, if they were able to do it one million times or billion times or a trillion times they they could have just done it. Because he said, Who is a fool? It's sinner. He said the fool says in their heart there is no Yehovah. Simply put, sinners. It is an abomination for sinner to depart from evil. So he said a hot iron has already been used to see their heart. They will stop it. Next year they will do it again. They're gonna keep rubbing you. Mm? Now check it out. 20, 21. 21. Evil pursueth sinners. You see, evil is gonna be chasing after you. Because you will not depart from it. Because it's what you eat, it's what you live with, it's what you go out with, it's what you speak, it's what you live for. Therefore, it's gonna be chasing after you 24 hours. It pursue you. Evil chase is going to pursue you, Christ, you know me, because you know you are lying in hypocrisy. You know this law is already being fulfilled, just like Passover rules and regulation of bringing animal, bringing goat, ram, whatever for your sin offering. It's already been sacrificed. It's already been fulfilled. That is the sacrificial law. It is done that way with. You still preach it, stand and say, Christ, you know me, said, when you hold the first fruit offering, you refuse to give it to their God, Jesus. He said, they are just going to destroy everything you have in your house. Matthew Hashemolo will say, when I type it as, it was just too heavy. I said, I can't even listen to this nonsense before the prophecies of me. I want to hear, use their words against them. I was amazed, amazed when Christ Hakinome himself said, when you keep the first fruit in your house, you, you refuse to release it to the, to, to the Jesus. He said, it's going to be destroying everything you have in your house. Could, can you believe that? Okay, I, I just sum down. Quickly, let me read that before we go now into our message. It's one and two. So that's why I have a, I have time to, you know, pour out my heart. It's hot. Listen to, okay, Chris, I can say, when you keep the first fruits, it will destroy everything you have in your house. John Hagee said, the law of first fruit is a giant step in climbing a stairway to the stars, sources, and, pros and a personal prosperity. 
Um, but your shame will not say, um, um, but your shame will, um, your shame will always say that, uh, 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 every kingdom have a principle. He said the principle of the kingdom of Jesus is only to sow a seed. And Christa Kingdom also said that, uh, uh, money, he, he quote, I'm going to be quoting it, he quote that Proverbs 13 verses 8. Can you imagine this bastard? He got, Christa Kingdom said, money is a, he said riches, is a, your riches, a riches of a man is, is ransom. Christa Kingdomena said, money is going to ransom you, not the message of the cross anymore. Money, is, you can tap it on YouTube and you see that. Pa pa uh, Pastor Chris uh, preach of first fruit of Africa. You're going to hear nonsense. I couldn't join. I said, no, 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 I'm done. And the other useless pastor, I forgot his name. He also said that uh, if you refuse to offer this force of uh, fruit, he said the angel of Jesus right hand, because this is not the almighty of the Bible. No, let me be referring to the ambassador Jesus. Okay, he said the angel of Jesus right hand is going to be destroyed everything you lay your hands on. Can you imagine that? Where is the love? Now, could you also imagine where David, what, what David Oyedipo said? That one said that Jesus make him apostle of prosperity to Nigeria. Really? As of last year, February, I refused to, I, I, I forgot to do a research if it's still county. I know it's still county. Nigeria run into the most, uh, um, Nigeria was labored, labored the most poor nation on earth. They run into string poverty. Even they said India was even richer than Nigeria. And whereby David Ojedipo said Jesus make him an apostle of prosperity to Nigeria. And this head bastard David Ojedipo also said, if you are not, if you refuse to pay your tithe, you you go into fasting for prosperity. You go into fasting for forty days and for he heaven to open unto you. He said heaven would never open unto you. He said, if you will even return poorer than the way you went. That is the cause they are pouring upon people if you refuse to give them this money. He said, you are coming back even more poorer than the way you went. That is your condition is going to be worse than before. Can you imagine what Jesus Apostles is saying to humanity? Did you just get that? And this said, bastard David Oyedipo also said, Dear God, because I'm not going to be referring this nonsense to Yehovah. He said, Dear God, allow devil to destroy Job and everything Job has. Because what? Because Job did not pay tithe. Now, this is the, this is blasphemy, okay? Damba punishment in the link of fire is the most hottest place of it all. Because you lied. They are lying in hypocrisy. I can't imagine them quoting all these verses. Not even realize somebody radical is going to be looking into their nonsense. And begin to refute and expose them. So right now with this being said. Let us dig into what is first fruit offering. According to the royal law governing system. According to the royal law governing system. Let's see what, what was that. Or what is that. Alright now here we are. Hebrews chapter 7 verses 5. Listen now. This is where he come from. And verily, they that are of the sons of Levi, Levi, okay, who receive the office of the priesthood, have a commandment to take tithes. Okay? Okay, tithe, okay, of the people according to the law. According to the law. And these people said they are not under law, but they are under grace. Therefore, what, what concerns you concern? Tithe, or uh, half free, first free. Why, why, why are you doing that? According to the law. And you say you are not under law. Jesus nailed it to the cross. You. In fact. Alright, now first fruits of free. We start. We want to begin to lay hammer and expose okay, the mystery behind that. Why should I be your request for first fruits? Exodus Shemo chapter 30 verses 1 and 2. I want to know what is the first fruit he actually asks of. And Yahweh spake unto Moshe, saying, Sanctify unto me, okay, sanctify unto me all the first born, whatsoever openeth the womb among the children of Israel, both of man and of beast. It is man. Did you get that? So why should he say man? When any first born, if he's a male child, it belongs to him. That is the first fruit. If it is animal, it belongs to him. That is his first fruit. Why? And we are coming, one of us, to first deal with the firstborn. And later we will not deal with the soil, the first fruit of the soil. 
Okay, what is that? In fact, you're going to be get, getting a clarity when we are done with Genesis 3 because it came from there. I, let me tell you, you said the kingdom of Yahweh is not meat and bread. Okay, it is not food. Just like um, Passover, you know, abolition. We're going to eat goat. We're going to eat ram. We're going to eat malu. But was that actually what it meant for? No. Exodus chapter 12. Was it meant for eating, eating, eating? Uh-uh. But something powerful. He is just illustrate. It's a metaphor. He's just like kind of illustration. That, that is why Romans chapter 1 verse 20 says, The invisible thing is being understood by the things by, 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 by the things made by Abba Yehovah. He said the invisible things is being understood by the creation. By what he created, you're going to be getting the invisible. Simply put, the natural is going to be revealing the spiritual. We just eat, we dance, we jubilate. But that is not the message. The message is the redemption. Is the works of salvation. That is Passover. In like manner, first fruit offering. So let's see what was that. Genesis 3. Now in Genesis 3, chapter 3, I'm not going to be reading it because no room for that. You know by now what, what Genesis 3 contains. So what happened? I want to just voice it. So what happened? The first man, Adam, was the first fruit that openeth the womb, the earth, the mother earth. It's like a womb that incubates you and me, that indwells you and me. And in like manner, womb is indwelly. He or she a seed already be planted in. Adam was the first fruit here on earth. Okay, he was the one that opened at the womb. Okay, he belongs to Abba Yehovah. And Serpent said, "Not so with me." Mm -mm. It's gonna be from where? From the womb to the tomb. Um, you are the one that opened for Abba Yehovah, but you also is gonna open the ground for me, the tomb, the grave. I'm gonna plant you inside the grave. You are not gonna. I'm not gonna leave you to rule here on earth. You are going down the grave. All right. By single tricks, he deceived them to carry out this ideology, to carry out his, you know, what he wants. It happens. Fearful. He also the womb, or the tomb, excuse me, becomes his dwelling. Where he also gonna indwell people. All right, now, Abba Yehua, give you simple illustration. If you don't keep it, the serpent is going to bite you. Actually, he bites there. So what happened? A curse was being released upon the ground. From that hunger, Abba Yehua releases a curse upon the ground. I think I'm going to read there. Okay. So because this, what Abba Yehua said, Adam, you opened the earth. You opened the womb. You are mine. And the serpent said, that was the drug. The serpent said, no way. You also need to open the tomb for me. He did it. And we see Genesis chapter 4. What took place? Abel. And really indeed. You know. Become the first one. To enter the ground. Which is the tomb. Or the womb. Or sempet. Okay now. So I want to check out the ground. Listen. That's simply Genesis 3. 17. And unto Adam he said. Because of because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife. And has eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it, cost is the ground for thy sake, in sorrow shalt thou uh, eat of it, all the days of your life. The ground is caused. Tons and tongues, okay, tons, also, and tesso shall bring forth. What is tons and what is tesso? They are demons, okay? They are demons on the world. And that was the tongue on the second Adam's head, right at the cross. The ground was caused. The man wasn't, but the ground. Okay, right now. The same cause that goes to the same pain because you open now the grave for him, therefore you're going to suffer inside that grave. Okay? Genesis 1, there wasn't any, anything like that. How about you want to declare, let there be tree, let there be this, and let there be that. Okay? It was so. But now, for you to plant a seed, for you to plant any crops in where for uh, in where comes first fruit he needs to go down and that is just an illustration I buy your wife is not after fruit to go and bring me fruit to eat no 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 he is giving a powerful illustration that Adam you are already there so learn that from what you're gonna be doing here on earth you see by the sweat 
Now it's going to be with hard labor. Put something in the ground. Before in Genesis, you just spoke, it come to pass. You don't need to do nothing. No, but now the seed need to die. Because you died already. So be as, as, like manna, you, it was just teaching that down. What it is now, you must go down and you will die. I'm not going to leave you in the grave. After all, there's going to be a resurrection. And as soon as that resurrection comes from the crops of your feet, give me the first fruit. It, it is a powerful sign of you coming back to me. It's a powerful sign that that one that I pick is going to be like a kind of a, okay, Yahushua. With the second one. You are all going down, but be practicing this first fruit or, or first before the one, my word, that new new sin comes to redeem you all. That was what, okay. I think I'm going ahead of myself. I think so. <laughs> I think so. So there's a place I'm supposed to read before I go into this. Let's do that together before we come back here. Here I am, Yokana, John 12, 23 to 24. And Yahushua answered them, saying, The hour is come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die. Okay, it abareth alone, but if it die, it bringeth forth much seed. Excuse me. Oh, my father. No. NIV make it so clear. I was already king. Just let me use NIV comparison. John 12, 23 to 24. Yahushua replied, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. I tell you the truth, unless a, a corn of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seed. I come here for the many seed. Did you just get that? If it dies. So right now, I done died already. Okay? He died in his sin. But this one is going to die in righteousness. For he comes every first fruit. Listen up. Now, that was the teaching of the plantation of the crowns. When you put seed, he will die. From Yahushua teachings, that seed is going to die. We don't know the mystery behind that. I think the boasting of Father Abraham has that for us. That is the ground they wear until Yahushua comes. They were all there in the bosom of Father Abraham. No heaven, no resurrection, no bearing of fruit. They died, the seed. But as soon as Yahushua comes, before I go into that, I want to first of all talk about one thing. We are still coming back here, okay? Because from there, we will not conclude with what it is, with, with what is first fruit now. We see already the seed. I just put out the seed. The plantation of the field is just an illustration. Now when you put it down, it dies. It's an illustration of what transpired. In Genesis 3, what happened to Adam? And so every one of us go down and die. And who's going to resurrect us? That is the one that fulfilled the eternal high priest. And I said this, now, how? I want it to be. I want it to be done. So right now, we see the first fruit. Let's go back again. And let me tell you what you should have been telling your pastor to be doing for you. You also missed it because you are a goat. A goat, meow, wherever they push your head, meow, zombie when I want with meow, because you don't study for yourself. This one, actually, you should have also been telling them to do for you. Since this your useless pastor left the message of the cross and left the message, the reality of the royal law, and now go for money making auto, uh, 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 auto generation tithe, auto generation, uh, generation, uh, whatever, a uh, fast fruit. That is what I go for. This one also you should have been telling them to do for you. I want to add this before we proceed with the seed, mystery of the seed. Listen now. First Samuel chapter 2 verses 18 to 20 is about Samuel. But Samuel ministered before Yehovah, being a child gathered with a linen ephod. Moreover, his mother made him a little coat and brought it to him from year to year. When she came to with when she came up with her husband to offer the yearly sacrifice. And Eli blessed uh, Echaniah and his wife and said, Yehovah, give the seed of this woman for the loan, which is lent to Yehovah. And they went their own. Who, who, who took care of Samson, Samuel? It is Eli, the man of Yehovah. The man of Elohim took care of that baby because it is the first fruit that opened the womb. Bring it to the house of Yehovah. I mean, was a smart. Don't touch it. Therefore, whenever you make any first baby male child, give it to your pastor to take care of him. 
for you. Give it to your person to raise it for you because it is the first fruit. It belongs to Yehovah. You're going to only be taking first fruit for money. No, you take first, first fruit so and cater for him and provide for him and send him to school and pay all the bills of his life. You'll be more going. That is what I keep thinking. I said it was the day I was when I was still Christian. I knew all this secret. I would have just said, "Come, I will call my pastor. I beg, go and bring my first son. My first child was a bill child. I beg, you go and bring him. And come and trade it for for Yehovah. You are mad. You think you are wise, stupid people. Now we're back to the mystery of seed. This plantation of the ground of your soil." It is just an illustration of what took place in Genesis 3. How we're going to be resurrected. How Adam is going to be resurrected. You know, not the first Adam, the second Adam. So I want to go back to that now. But tell your pastor to be taking care of your first son for you. If male child open the womb, please go and give it to your pastors and let them care for them. It is time you begin to question this useless pastor. When I was a vision, I think about four days ago. I was in this vision. It was a kind of a hostel. I only want to put it before we start. It's a kind of a hostel. So in that vision I came out, I, w I was privileged in that vision to be teaching people uh, how to spread their beds and before you lay on it. That was my job in that vision, to teach people how to spread, spread their bed in order for you to lay in peace in it. So when I was going out, I was having a bunch of keys, bunch of keys or kind table, and uh, being chained together Okay, with a diamond chain, that white diamond chain. Okay, I just, I took it and then I went out to go to the other, it was kind of, kind of a hostel, to go and minister to other people there. I went into a place and I began to minister to them, I teach them this, how you should spread your bed, this, how you, you, in order for you to lay in peace. So as soon as I was done, I was returning back to my own beauty hostel in that visual. And I saw a cantable amber bus with double barrel in their hands. They max a fat. If you see the mask, they pull on, you can't even identify who are they. They were darker than they take darkness. They are so huge like Iroko tree. They are so fat, even more than the elephant. When I said they grab, oh, no fear. I was so terrified. I was grabbed in such a fear. I said, what? All my body was shivering. So while I was shivering, then the key fell out of my hands. Because I was afraid, don't shoot me, they want to kill me. There was no way out because the whole street was filled with these arm robbers. So tall. So fat. And so dark. They put on a, a face mask from the crest of the earth to the soul of You can never identify them. Who they are. You, what you will see is the mask they mask up themselves with. I was so shivering. So one of them, as soon as that key fell, it fell in the front of one of them. And then when I picked the key, and I gave it back to me, you dare not touch Yahuwah's bride. He gave me back. I thought, I, thought he's gonna store, I thought he's gonna steal that key from me. That keys. There were many. He took it, there's part the diamond in it, chain. He never touched, he gave it back to me. I was amazed. He said, Take it for you, take. And I said, Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. So prior to that fear in my heart, I was not afraid. I said, I don't want to go because other thieves, other people out there, I don't know if those ones will be kind to me. Let me return back to lay in one of those people that I taught how to lay in their bed. Let me go and sleep in their bed. <laughs> Before I now heard a voice, it said, you cannot sleep on someone's salvation. You have your own salvation. You return back to your room. They won't dare touch you. Then I returned back. As I woke up, he said, these are Christian pastors. This is what, about, this is what they are about to do. He is to rob them understanding. He is to rob, rob their spiritual significances of it. He said, what I really meant about this fruit is they are already taking that one away. And their double barrel is to take their substance, is to take their money. And to leave them meaningless. Just as the name of Jesus is meaningless. I'm the one saying this now. Jesus, when you take Jesus back, Jesus in Hebrew, it, it's meaningless. It don't have no money. It, when you take it to Greek, it don't has no meaning. But when you take it to Latin, it simply means early pig. It, it is a early pig. Physis. It's going to pour physis on you all. So you should stick with that name. So right now, let's dig into the first fruit offering. We see the we see the natural one. Now. We, we're going to see that from the second Adam. If I know but of course, it's part two. No problem. We proceed in part two. So much has already been said here. Now, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 20, listen now. But now is Mashiach 
risen from the dead and be, become the first fruit of them that are of them that slept until Yehoshua died and raised. No one goes to heaven. Every one of them started from Adam way down to Yochanan. Okay, John the Baptist. They were all in the bosom of Father Abraham. Even though even those there, we don't know what is being called, but we see Yahushua himself now said it is being called the bosom of Father Abraham. And if you have the Gospel of Nicodemus, read it from chapter twelve way down to chapter ninety, and go and see the great wonders that took place in that three days and three nights of resurrection. That is what your plantation is. When you put sit down, he died. There is a mystery behind that. Only Abba Yawa knows how he grows up. Only Abba Yawa water it. Only Abba Yawa watch for it. Until he spring out. But for all, we see that he dead already. All hope is gone. All hope is lost. But Abba Yawa said, no. Even though Sempe, you turn it the other way around. You not make the ground your grave. You not make the ground your womb. You not make my children from the womb to the tomb. Nevertheless, I am still going to cause a resurrection. He said, my castle still is going to stand. That is the illustration of first fruit. Abba Yehoah is not hungry for food. Yes, he passed over with jubilate. When we kill cow, when we kill, excuse me, when we kill ram, when we kill goat, those days for our, our sin, we eat it. Isn't it? But is that, the, is that the actual meaning of it? No. It is spiritual. It like man of planting of seed. First fruit is. It is spiritual. It is spiritual. It is spiritual. Okay. Now, he said, when he is the firstborn of them that slept, let's see them that slept. As soon as he rose, he, they also arose because this is how that seed that goes down bear much fruit. It's just an illustration. The sowing of your crops. Matthew 27, 50 to 53. Yahushua, when he had cried again with a loud voice, you did up the a spirit, and behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom. Oh, my father. What's your business? To the bottom. And the earth did quake. And the rock rents. That is the womb of the devil needs to be rent and needs to be torn into pieces. Because it is not possible for the grave to hold them bad. We must bring out first fruit. We must resurrect. 52. And the grave, we are open. And the graves, we are open. And many bodies of the saints which slept arose. And came out. And came out of the grave after his resurrection. Because he was the first fruit. This is the teaching of the first fruit. We put some. I wanted to end, end the first fruit of the spirits and of the uh, male and cattle. You know, we pacify. Animal pacify us. You know, like Yahushua is the lamb. Animal pacify him. We are the sheep. Gentile is the goat. And the beast. And snake. Okay. So animal pacify us. That was why I also said the first ball of the animal is also for him. I wanted to end this year, but nevertheless, we'll continue part two. Romans 11, 16. And for, for, if the, for if the first fruit be holy, the loom is also holy, and the root be holy, so are the branches. Did you get that? Yahushua is the, is the root, is holy. Everyone that follows him, we are holy. Every single first fruit offering and see him. Follow up with part two. Listen who we are. We are holy. Romans chapter 8, 23. And not only that, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the spirits. We are the first fruit of the spirit because the very first fruit is holy. And so do we. It's not food. Not only food. It's speaking of something powerful spiritual. First Corinthians chapter 16. 15 to 16, I beseech you, brethren, ye know that house of Sephanis, that is the first fruits of Aqua, and that they were dedicated themselves to the ministry of the saints, that ye submit yourselves also, that ye submit yourselves and uh, submit yourselves unto such as to everyone that helpeth with us and laboreth. Did you get that? Now, I'm the, when, when, when I'm saved, what is our first fruit? When I'm saved, now any first convert I win to the kingdom is the first fruit. And heaven rejoice and angel party because I brought a first fruit. And he said, you see, who was the first fruit? Saphonas or whatever. Of uh, 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 Aqua. Did you get that? Where is money being said over here? 
any first fruit, any single cover that I want, as soon as I'm being born again, anyone that minister unto me also become that person, a first fruit unto Yehovah. Any single cover that I want into the kingdom is my first fruit unto Abba Yehovah. He said, we all should be doing that. Because as soon as I want the first fruit, that one is also going to want somebody. That one is also going to want somebody. He's talking about kingdom resurrecting people from the grave. Resurrecting people from the grave, the womb of serpent. And bring them back to resurrection. You are talking of uh, money, 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 money. So this is how we bear much fruits. Because we go down. As he also go down. Becoming the first fruit of dead ass lips. Now, this is how we bear the fruits. John chapter 15. You can take it from five, uh, 1 to 5. I am the true vine. And my father the husband bear. Every branch in me that beareth not fruits. He take it away. And every branch that uh, beareth fruit. He prunes it, that he may bring forth more fruits, more fast fruits, like what I just illustrated. It's going to be going and spread it and spread it until the end of it. Now, yeah, I okay, now I read for abide me and are in you, as the branches cannot bear fruit of it all, of itself, except ye abide in the vein. No one, no more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am my father. Okay, in order for you to bear much fruits, as I minister to you. You become a convert. You are my first fruit. You also minister to somebody. That one becomes a convert. It's his first fruit. It's your first fruit. It keeps spreading on and on. It's not money. Satanic seed. Christian Hinome. Now we're going to end this. End with this. In two days time, I will, I will upload the part two. Revelation 14, 1 to 4. We say what is the first fruit? Is of the spirit. And I looked. And lo, behold, stood. And I looked. And behold, a lamb stood on my side. And with him. 144,000 having their, having his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. Okay, I rush to part 4, uh, verses 4. These are they which we are not the five with women, for they we are, for they we are virgin. This is the wise virgin. Hmm? These are they which follow the Lamb wherever he goes, for they will be redeemed. Okay, from the end of the earth, being the first fruit unto Yehovah and to the Lamb. I deliberate more on this in part 2. They are the first fruits. They be redeemed, not defined themselves with the women. Well, who is woman? It is Christ said in Revelation 17. Revelation 12, holy woman. Revelation 17, 